let's practice making some histograms. For this, you'll need a piece of paper with a grid on it. Um, I just used a piece of lined paper and drew a grid on it and 12 small objects that you can sort. So you have coins or Legos or building cubes, something, anything will work as long as there is variation in your materials. Here are my materials that I have that I'm gonna to use to practice making histograms. You can see I grabbed 12 random coins and then I made a grid on a piece of paper. So whatever materials you have works great. Okay, so we're gonna start by making a histogram that shows no variation. So if I wanna think about something that all of my materials have in common, one of the things that they all have in common is they are metal, okay? So I would sort this into one column, showing them that all of them are metal. It is totally fine if your materials go off your paper, if your histogram is not big enough, especially when we're doing things where they are all one thing. It's totally fine. Then if I wanna show low variation, I might do something like sort by color. So and then I sort them into, columns based on what color they are and you see I have super low variation because they are either silver or copper. Okay. Or if I want to increase my variation I might sort them by their value and so my pennies are all worth one cent, my nickels are worth five, my dimes are worth ten, and my quarters are worth twenty-five. And so I can increase the amount of variation that I show based on the trait that I select. Keep using your materials, try making different histograms, showing different amounts of variation. We'll use histograms a lot as we look at what happens to our populations and how they change over time.